is part of was part of the Goldman Sachs uh, collaborative team. Is an executive officer for Phi Beta Kappa. Is part of student government as a senator, as well as a foundation scholar. Like I said, a success story. <laughs> I'd love to welcome Romy to the stage to be able to tell you a little bit about his story. <laughs> Vice President Dr. Margaret Craig, Dean Dr. Michael Hatmaker, Chapter Support Representative Anna DeFonso, College Faculty and Staff, our NSLS Spring 2019 inductees, my fellow student leaders, guests, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant evening to you all. I recently asked myself, <laughs> What does success really mean for me? It took me a while to realize what it truly meant. Due to, due to the fact it will have different meanings throughout all my personal and academic journeys. Similarly, if I ask you tonight, how do you define success? Most probably I would hear a hundred different definitions, which certainly are due to who you are, who you will become, and what you aspire in the future. But to sum it all up, I found interesting how late American educator and presidential advisor Booker T. Washington defined success. According to him, it's a learning process. And here's what his words were. I have learned that success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life, but as by the obstacles which he has had to overcome while trying to succeed. Let me tell you, his words related to me on a very personal level. For what you see today, this man standing in front of you all giving a story on student success, once thought he was a failure and did not amount to anything. I was an immigrant, a non-traditional, almost twice a college dropout transfer student from the Philippines who moved in the United States four years ago, hoping it might suddenly change my future. It was not an easy journey where we deal with cultural, emotional and financial difficulties. But that did not, did not stop me to persevere. I was inspired to work hard knowing I'm not just doing this for myself, but most especially for my mom and dad, who are both in their early retirement stages already. accident, but a blessing in disguise. When one key four-year college closed doors on me, I beyond this one's hopeless. The MCC gave him a chance. <laughs> this new hope instilled in me a motivation to maximize my student potential, not just in academics, but also co-curricular. From being a constant dean's visitor, I was awarded the BMCC Foundation Incorporated, Incorporated Scholarship and got inducted in both Fight Day the Kappa Honor Society and as well as National Society of Leadership and Success. I even received the 2018 New York Health Information Management Association Mary's Zionist Student Award out of all qualified candidates in the New York State. I was also privileged to serve as Vice President of the Health Information Technology Club, become an online information peer mentor, a BMCC faculty partner, a class student partner, and this semester as Chapter Executive Board of NSLS and Senator of the Student Government Association. I was also been an active officer of Aitera Kappa for, for the academic year and was a team member of the 2018-2019 BMCC Goldman Sachs Local College Collaborative. <laughs> As a side story, I can still fully remember carrying that utmost pride, walking the red carpet, receiving awards on behalf of BMCC as one of the top three best chapters in the Europe region and top 100 chapters internationally in 2019 for Fight Day Kappa. 
As well as standing center stage, confidently delivering our over the top final presentation at Owens at headquarters last week third. All these remarkable experiences will not have been possible if not for BMCC supporting student success and providing us opportunities to believe in ourselves and to achieve the same to be impossible. Possible. At this time, I would like to thank a handful of instrumental individuals present tonight who has made my student success at BMCC possible. Kayla and Denise Zubor have been such amazing advisors for the NSLS and our chapter executive board council. Throughout the past two semesters, we have heard you countless times thanking us of what a job of them we, we've done, but I don't feel we have expressed well enough letting you both know each part of that, of that success was due to our guidance and support for us ever since we, we started our NSLS work, so congratulations to all of us. Christina and Jeffrey, you, you've both been such a delight to work with. Conversations with you have been so meaningful. And thank you for all your guidance and help for our chapter. <laughs> Mr. Mars, your support has been very vital, not just in SGA, but as the director of student activities, making sure everything is well in place and taken care of. I personally, I personally appreciate all your committee nominations and would certainly wish if I had more time, I would be more active, actively involved in all. But still, thank you so much. <laughs> you have made her, thank you for choosing me along with Kiri and Mariana to be one of the 10 members of the UMCC Goldman Sachs team. Through it, I have created lifelong friendships, expanded my professional network, and aspired for greater, greater things for my future. It has been one of the most unforgettable experiences I will forever cherish being part of this college. Vice President Craig, your presence has been life for our students. Thank you that by reading your emails frequently, I was lucky enough to be chosen and not be charged one month of transportation fares by MTA. Uh, one month metro directly. Also, I know if I'm feeling down and needed a boost, your kind hearts can always bring me back in track. Professor Christopher, Thank you for believing and seeing the potentials within me on those times I ended up. I myself. Thank you for still graciously giving yourself to your students, despite the trials you've experienced the past few years, and most importantly, for being a second mom to me, especially Aww. on those moments I needed it most. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Ratna and Aphrodite, we've been through this tough yet amazing journey together from our HSU classes to club meetings to career explorers and to NSLS. It has been both an honor and privilege getting to know you both. You inspire me to become a better every single day. Kat, Fabian, Pashi, Osama, Shirley, Tracy, Mercedes, Timothy. Mario, Brian, Mariana, Christina, and Sandra. I commend you in making NSLS a home for us to leaders. Give yourself a tap in the back for a job well done. Also, my best wishes, my best wishes for the semester executive group. And lastly, to my Monday 6 p.m. and Thursday 4 p.m. SMPs, if you're around. <laughs> It was a blessing getting to know you all by hearing and learning from your individual stories and smart goals. I'll always remember you all have what it takes to succeed in this, in this life. It's all up to you now to make it a reality. Um, this limited time I have on stage will not be enough to cover everything BMCC has done <laughs> in developing me to the person I am today. NSLS specifically has molded me so much in terms of my character and has helped me in embracing my leadership potentials even more than I initially thought I possess. BMCC made me. Even when I transitioned into the next step of my academic and professional walk, I can always look back and probably say the best two years of my life today were spent in my community college. As what um, Dr. Marvin Payne said, I started the year, and I can definitely go anywhere. <laughs> My journey as a BMCC student soon comes to an end. I want all our 
300 plus new as NSLS inductees and future successful student leaders to know success requires three things. Firstly, believing in your own inner capacities, strengths, and gifts. Secondly, not giving up when you feel like giving up already. And lastly, keep pushing until you see the impossible things turn impossible. Moreover, I want you all to remember your wildest dreams and goals are 100% achievable once you hold firmly and remind yourselves daily of your individual whys or your purpose as you continue in this amazing journey called life. Finally, I want to end with this quote by the great John C. Maxwell. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. You certainly all have known and gone the way just by being here tonight. Yet the ultimate challenge of leadership lies in the very last phase. So let me ask you this now. Will you all be willing to show others the way? Remember it will be now or never. Borough Manhattan Community College, thank you for the one who here are being part of NSLS and for gracious who've been given the opportunity to lead my to lead my fellow students. It has been all worth it. Congratulations everyone and good evening. Woo!